day, but it was just so bad. Like, I was just sneezing and coughing, and my eyes were just watering. <coughs> I just put a wagon in the driveway, you know I did. When I shoot my shot, it's the Kawhi, where it's going in. Me and Lil Sicko since. Hey y'all, it's your girl Brooklyn Bougie. And I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about how we get through allergy season, like how I get through my allergies. And I wanna say I get through my allergies in a good five days. Like if I don't take care of myself, it will probably drag on longer than that. But because I found my little remedy, um my allergies they just go through and pass I would say in like five days um but yeah like I said if I didn't take care of myself they'd probably last a week to a like a full week and a half almost two weeks I'm not gonna lie but um yeah let me jump in the video and show y'all what I work with what I do what works for me so first things first um I wake up and I grab my tea from Starbucks. Now, I drink Peach Tranquility tea. Um, it's so bomb. It's so good. And when I go, I ask for a tea bag or two because um, so it can last me the whole day. Um, you can just warm up water throughout the day and add some sugar if you want or tea or honey or whatever you put in your um, tea and it will last you the whole day honestly uh they already put two ba tea bags in here and i say like that that's two cups right there and then with the extra two tea bags it's another two cups that will just last you throughout the day um so that's really that so i'll wake up i'll go to starbucks and get me a tea um i don't know y'all can hear me sniffling but yeah, um, I highly recommend Puffs Tissue, um, either the lotion or the Ultra Soft, because I have a sensitive nose, and I don't know if you guys can see, but my nose, like, from where I kept using regular tissue, honestly, it was, like, scabbing up. Um, it's getting better now, but it was just so rough and raw, and it hurt, honestly, and that's because... I blow my nose. I do not hold any mucus in. If I feel mucus in my throat, if I feel mucus in my nose, like I'm gonna keep blowing it out. I gotta keep blowing it out because that's how you're gonna pass the germs through. If you keep trying to like keep trying to suck all the germs back in, that's gonna circulate back in your body and you're just gonna stay sick. So I buy a whole bunch of tissue and yeah. But with that being said. <laughs> as far as my nose um at first i was using carmex for my nose and lips because obviously um your lips get dry and then my nose was super sore so at first it burns to put this on don't get me wrong but it really helps i'm not gonna lie after like the first time you put it on and then like you just keep applying it it doesn't burn anymore but the first time this stuff is gonna burn so because of that i went out and bought vaseline um and just put it on my nose this works just as good as well um the only thing is it's gonna keep coming off because you keep blowing your nose and it just wipes off so i think like vaseline is better get you a little tub or get you a big tub and just keep putting it on your nose um obviously the little kleenex put in your purse or put in your bag whatever you have and then i also have wipes as well because sometimes just the tissue is like too dry for my nose and like I said I tend to like my nose is just so sensitive my skin is sensitive anyway so once I feel like the tissue is just not working for me um I do the wipes just to keep moisture and yeah so honestly I keep Takis I love these things because anything hot or spicy um, helps you like helps your like system like nose open um, as well as like hot sauce I eat ramen noodles when I'm sick and hot sauce because the hotness 
just opens your paws and so when it's bedtime um I take Benadryl because I feel like this is the only medicine that I've took ever since I was a kid I don't know anything else but I know this stuff right here baby you take two of these before bed one you're out like a light and two it just like dries everything up I don't know like and it just helps like dry all that fluid that would normally be circulating through your nose throughout the night and all the phlegm that would be in your throat it just clears it up like at least for me when I wake up the next day like I still gotta um blow my nose out and stuff like that um another thing is I take really hot showers and just when I'm in the shower make sure I'm blowing my nose out um and just have the hot water hit my body because it just feels so good especially when I'm sick I also take when I have a headache Advil liquid gels um I don't know I had a friend put me on to these one time and I had a really bad headache and I don't really take medicine I don't like taking medicine really um but like if I feel like um I'm rested and I ate and I still have a headache that's when I'll take medicine because sometimes um I, I know my body so I'll just have a headache because I'm tired then I just need to go to sleep or I'll have a headache because I didn't eat or something like that so I won't take medicine and I'll just eat or I'll take a nap if I can if I can't do either one of them things then I'm gonna take some of this um but yeah and as same with the Benadryl I probably will not take the Benadryl um the first two to three days of my sickness because I just don't like taking medicine honestly um if I felt like I could get through my sickness without taking the medicine at all I'm gonna do that but if I feel like it's just getting worse and worse, like, this time around, it just felt like it would not stop. Today was, like, as you see, like, I'm making this video. I wanted to make this video yesterday, but it was just so bad. Like, I was just sneezing and coughing, and my eyes were just watering. <coughs> I, I know I couldn't get through this video. Today, I'm feeling a lot better, and I really feel like it's because I took my Benadryl last night. And then I did take one today but Benadryl will put you out I'm not gonna lie like <laughs> you will feel it and you will want to go to sleep so that's the only reason why I take it at night I do not take it during the day I don't really like taking it during the day if I do take it during the day like today I took one um but I don't like doing anything I have to go to sleep I have to take a nap I can't so yeah um and another thing is just make sure you're not stressing out like you now stress is a major contribution to sickness honestly if you feel like you're stressed and it's too much um take some days off honestly because it's not worth it just to keep stressing i learned that when i was working in fast food um i would feel sick for way longer because I was just going into work sick honestly and I wasn't realizing I really did need rest days it wasn't until like I became an entrepreneur and I had sickness and my sickness would go away like that because I wasn't running around stressed out I wasn't running around trying to take orders trying to make people's food you know and just having the stress of work on my back so if you work make sure you're taking days off of work honestly and just make sure your body's rested one to two days I know it's tough because it's like you need that paycheck but you need to feel better even more so if your job can't understand that you're sick and you're not feeling well then that's on them um there's always another job and I know there's people who are like I can't afford it I can't afford it and I know it's tough but it's more important that you take them days instead of keep going into work sick and you're just feeling like you do not want to be there like I did not like working like that at all I didn't I didn't like it I hated it so much 
And that was like another reason why I went into entrepreneurship because I just, once I realized like you have the freedom and the ability to like take care of yourself and really lock in on yourself, you're gonna learn like, but you also gotta appreciate being an entrepreneur, like understand there's good days and bad days, but that's another story for another time. Right now we're talking about being sick. <laughs> So yeah, just take care of yourself and, you know, and sometimes even get out the house. Um, being in the house all day is not the best bet. Get out, get some fresh air, you know, try to go for a walk if you can. Uh, try to just get your body back motivated, you know, and take care of yourself. That's very important. So that's what I do when I'm sick and I hope this helps you. I will talk to you guys later. See you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe too. I always forget to say that. Bye. <laughs>